Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I thought I'd go through the toiletries that I take when traveling. Now when I say traveling, it's usually between um, a night up to a week, often domestic, so whether it's in a car traveling or we're just flying domestic, I don't go overseas that often. So if I only go for a few days, I don't take that much in the way of clothes and shoes, so I can take what I like with toiletries and I love the convenience of this setup. Now, with this caddy that you see here, I'll go through everything in detail in a moment, but I do want to say, um, I saw this on another lady's video, so I, I have to give credit. I will try to find her name and link her channel below because it was a brilliant idea, but of course everything and how I do it is what suits for me. But I just thought it was a great idea and I'll show you how this all sort of comes together. Now I'll start over here with these two containers. I have done a, a video earlier on these. These are the Tick travel bottles and they are for skin and shower. I'll just go through quickly because if you want more in depth, like I said, I've done a video. So if you open that up, that has six tubes in there which you can put your product in, in it, a makeup remover, um, cleanser tone, anything like that. On the bottom it has an additional four bottles. You can see that I've relabeled them to suit me. I use, I put some hair product in there as well. Then you just turn it, pull it down, turn it again and it locks. And then you've got nozzles on the inside in there and you open them and you just push them and your product comes out there. You just put your hand in. So there's um, six products there and four in the bottom. So there's already 10 product there that I'm carrying and in this one is the same principle and that's for body wash, shampoo and conditioner. They do take up room but it's convenience I'm going. This whole setup is for convenience and that's how it works. On the inside I have these three satchels that I got from Kathmandu. I don't know if you can see that and they just work beautifully. I can see everything that I have in them. That's for my hair products. The next size down in the trio is for odds and ends. And then I have my makeup. So you can see that when they're empty, they all fit inside of each other. And in here, I have my makeup brushes. I'll go through those four in a minute for you. I just want to show you the setup initially. So as you can see, it's a clear PVC liner and it's got this metal. So this folds down. So what I do is I leave these items in the pocket and I fold that down and put it on top of whatever bag I'm using because it compresses down once all the air has gone quite well. And then you just open it up and you can see I fit everything inside it. And this does press stud and it does come off. Um, and it's called a handy caddy. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, there's a lot of similar sort of ones on the market and it has three pockets on the outside here and three on the outside there. So you can get the principle. The principle is that I can just grab everything and it's quick and easy to go. And if I go into the shower, I just grab the shower one. If I'm doing my skin care, I just grab that and then I grab my satchels for whatever I'm doing next. So it, it just really works well. It's just quick and easy. I just take out these and because they're separate, I find they're easier to pack because I just put them separate all around my case wherever I have room. When I put everything together, and I've tried a lot of toiletry bags, but they get bigger and bigger and bulky. I'm trying to keep everything together and I've sort of come to realization that doesn't work. And I did originally get these because I thought these would all fit in just that way in there. But as I've filled them, they've got thicker and they don't. But they do stand up on their ends and they fit nicely. So I'll go through the caddy and then I'll go through all these and then I can put everything back in and show you how I've got it working for me. Okay, on this side I've just got some cotton rounds and some cotton buds. In here I've got two little atomizers and they've got my perfumes in it. I've got um, DKNY is sort of what I like for my day perfume and I've got black opium to like for my night perfume. This bottle is a, a small spray bottle I've decanted of this uh, wrinkle releaser which I find really works well when I'm traveling because when I'm on holidays I'm not ironing. Don't care to. And this one I just have a little mini toothpaste. I have a little mini Tide to go and in this. Now some of these products I don't really use or need all the time but I had the room so I've put them in. This is just a little um, deep sleep pillow spray. Bit of a lavender sort of scent. Sprayed on your pillow supposed to help you make your sleep. It doesn't, but it smells pretty. So once that's 
done. I won't be repurposing that one. Okay, in this I have just some little private bits and pieces in the little bag. I have a thing of tissues. I have in here, I have a um, glasses cleaner and some band-aids. Now most hotel rooms have tissues, so once again, you wouldn't need it, but I have them in. And I have some, a little pack of some little hand wipes. Now in this first bag, I have all my hair products. And what I liked about these two is I lay them flat. I can open them up on the counter and I can just see it at a glance, whoops that I've got and that I need to use and that just works really really well for me and then once I've finished I just zip it up and then I can put it back in the caddy so I'll just go through quickly what I've got you carry whatever you want to carry obviously so I've just got some, uh, some hairspray a styling mousse dry shampoo root lift a uh, curl refreshener a leave-in conditioner this is a volume, a thickening tonic my Vita. It's just a sample I got. Once that's used up, I'm not going to repurchase that. And this is a, what's this? A Vita uh, texture spray. Um, once that's gone, I won't be using that again either. And I've got a little comb and brush that folds out. And I have a couple hair ties. So that's simple. So I know that that's all in there. This is just a bit of odds and sods. And I love how you can open it up. Once again, I can just see in it, see everything I need in it. So yeah, first I've got my sun cream. I love this um, Ultra MD UV Clear. I know it's expensive, but this is brilliant. I use this for my moisturizer and my daily sun cream. I do have rosacea, and I think this is just a brilliant product. Um, deodorant, hand cream. I have my little travel Luna. I love this for exfoliating. I don't like anything rough rubbed on my face to exfoliate this is gentle enough for me i've got a little cream just a little eye gel a little cucumber just if my eyes feeling a bit dry or puffy some what do you call them in between your teeth instead of floss i like those little things i have a little sewing kit that i've made up i take some hand sanitizer i always carry wipes in my bag but when i go into a hotel room i always carry a little bottle of this i pour it onto a tissue and i go around and i wipe all the switches especially that remote control we all know about the germs i wipe everything down then i relax a little bit of a serum extra serum cream in here if my face skin's getting a bit dry and i've called this one drugs which is you know it has like um anti-inflammatory panadol all over the counter stuff i assure you and i throw in a couple of these little uh, masks you put them in water they rehydrate and then if i put on a treatment serum and then I put this over top. So I know I buy a mask and every time I try a new mask, I have some sort of reaction. I react to nearly everything. So this I know whatever product I'm using, I can just put the product on thicker and heavier, put this mask on and then take it off. And I know it's given me a little bit more intense treatment, but it's not hurting my skin. And I have a few little saline eye drops in case my eyes are dry from air conditioning or if we are flying. So that's all I carry in that one. And then that just does up and pops in that way. And then I have my makeup, nothing too exciting in this. Same principle, I can open it up and go through it. I have, I take a little fan with me. So when I spray my, um, my fixing spray, I just fan a little bit and just dries quicker and make sure it doesn't dry spotchy and move any of my makeup. So that's been really, really handy. I do carry two. I don't need two. They fitted. I put them in. I probably would just travel with the um, MAC Prep and Prime because once again, like I keep saying, you're in air conditioning a lot. You're in air conditioning in the plane, in the car, in the shopping centers, in the hotel room. So this is better. But if I go out in the night, I do like this um, all-nighter and this small bottles, but I think I would just travel with this usually. I decant some Laura Mercier powder. I really like that powder. And I've got contact and I've just put on, I'll put on um, Revlon and um, Makeup Forever because they're the two foundations that I think I would take. So if I only go a couple of days, I just pour some in them. But if I go for longer, then I just take the bottles of foundation because I can take out one of these bottles and I can fit in a bottle of foundation. I have a mini pore professional. Once I use that up, I'm not buying it anymore. I have a lip liner. I have a, these are all new because I'm going to, these are ones that I use all the time. So I'm just going to leave them in here 
and then I don't have to. All this stuff is my mini stuff, so I just leave it in here. I don't go and grab makeup all the time. So if we decide we're going away for a night or two, it's really quick and easy for me. This is all just grab and go. Okay, so this is my lip line that I always use. It's the um, Revlon in the Mauve. I really, really love that. And this is the Revlon Charcoal Eyeliner. Always use that. And I'm just using this one up because this is the spare that I've got. This is, um, I think it's a Your Best Friend eyebrow pencil. And that's it. Um, at the moment, I'm using this Sephora Luminizer to go. Once again, this is all my travel stuff. So it's not necessarily what I use on a day-to-day -day basis. I have um, It Cosmetics and the 50 Plus. I, I like that's got 50 Plus in it. So as you can see, I can travel with three different types of foundation and that's all the room that they take. Um, I, this one says meds, the other one says drugs. I do take a couple of medications every day, nothing too severe, but I can have them in there. It's my makeup brush, doesn't fit in my little um, brush kit, but it fits in here fine. I have a, a night balm, Calmex, always put this in the night before I go to bed. And I just have a little Sephora. I like this as a highlighter on my eyelids. I think this is just a light colour. What is this? This is just in the colour... Hmm? Movie popcorn? Movie popcorn number 72. I like just put a little bit of my finger and just put it in the middle of my eyelids. Especially if I go out in the night. I really like that. And this is just a little list that I keep in here all the time. Just telling me to add my concealer, my mascara, fill up my foundations and my beauty blender. So I always put that in so I never forget anything. And I carry this little Stiller Compact, um, Perfect Me, Hide Me. It's just beautiful neutral colours. It's a little bit dirty, needs a mirror, needs cleaning. But it has everything because it has four colours. It has a little bit of shimmer if I don't want to use my Sephora Illuminizer. And it has a bit of a, um, a, a bronzer and a blush. And I normally use the bronzer sort of as my brush. I don't want to put pink on red rosacea. But... It's just all fits and like I said, this is always packed, ready to go and then that goes in up on its end as well. And the last thing I put in there is this little, I don't know where I got this from, some little travel thing that came and this just carries all my little brushes except for that brush that I had in here that I use for my foundation. I always use that or the Beauty Blender and I've got a lot of these, um, they're the full head size but they're the mini brushes from Real Techniques, just brilliant. I use a lot of Real Technique brushes. I won't pull them all out. I've got some Revlon ones in there as well. Um, you take whatever brushes you want. This is quick and easy. I, I lay out a tissue, I open this up, I empty all my brushes out. As I use them, I put them back in the containers and that sits well just in the back there. I also meant to show there was two things missing that I do put in here once I sort of get there is uh, my round brush that I use for styling my hair in the morning and I have a an electric toothbrush it's it's battery run this one I haven't found a case that fits over that yet so I just do up a little bag but I will find a case or I'll cut, make, cut one to make it fit if I travelled overseas I wouldn't take all of this I, I probably wouldn't take these they take a bit too much room this is really working for me if you have any questions please leave them below um, I'm happy to answer them. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I hope the world is treating you well. And I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.